Farewell, Abel. Hello. I have to go. Until I see you next. I have to go. Then go in peace. I then. Let's get out of here. Can't race the sail yet. Pull up here. Let's go. Need to row our way out. Sing us a song. Steeds run. Pull a share a tale. How about the tale of the return of a Jarl? Father was not always this cheerful. Not when he held his spear. We are different instruments of war. Him a spear, deft blows between armor, and me a heavy blade of steel singing through it. Isbjorn, the bear of frost. My father lived and died by that spear, wielding it for his people and land. But few saw what it did to him. It changed him, slowly but surely. A great man, nonetheless, but one further away. Isolated. It was a strange relief when he lost it on that fateful hunt. Robbed of his powerful relic, 
He took it as a sign to slow down, and he returned to being a warm, affable man. The one you remember best. The spear. It is too rigid, too unfeeling, too fragile. And when the keen edge is lost, it's just a stick. The axe, on the other hand, blunted or chipped to always feel its weight, its capacity for bloodletting. It's Bring the master! <laughs> Let's have a song. We need an epic tale. My mother taught me to care for oaths as if they were my own heart. There is no greater aim than to honor an oath till death. When a foul king strolls into town, an oath means as much as dust. These flimsy oaths, they cost us everything. I like to take oaths in the ancient manner. Do not eat for a day, then cut a sheet of feet at her from the earth. Then wrap your sword in this oily carpet of dirt and grass, flakes from great Emer's old corpse, and set it aflame. In that way, your honor burns bright. It does not dwindle as you speak of old words. Now, with nothing to your name. to gain or lose. Will you pledge your heart, your family, your raven wine, your honor, your might, and your word to each and each who stands and stood with you like fire and fire? And finally, the dagger. Together draw blood from the cradle of the sword earth, mixed your inner rivers, and you are bound. That Save it for later. I need your eyes, my friend.
Rosewater Mead. <laughs> I never thought that would get here. You are an angel sent from heaven. deceive me? Or did you deliver all of my remaining orders? I think I did, unless I miscounted. I had no idea. Here one day, gone the next. Thank you for that. You deserve some compensation. What have you got for me today? Dan Shap. I must take my leave. So long. Always a pleasure, Eivor.
your wings, Sunan. Shanta! A cheerful heart is good medicine. But a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Someone disagrees with your reforms, Alfred. And he's calling the children to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets. Feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your sex and mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve. Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it'll keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you! Spry little mouse, will you lead me to your quill? Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfeth's pyre. Very poetic, but he's going to be buried in the grounds of the Minster. Stealing apples, eh? Fruit don't feed a grown boy. Do you have any chicken? I don't, but maybe you can tell me what you know of the quill. The quill? God blimey, you're brave. Find Elwyn and Wigbert. They see everything. You there, little cut purse. Keep your feet out, Nosy! I'm starving! It's the Hepzer! What? It's him stop you! It's swear ye! God's beard! You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man! You can't catch me! Oh, God help me! I'd rather be shoveling dong in Malvern again.
Aid me. Be my eyes. Mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotnar. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? Oi! Wigbert, you great moon calf. Hand it over, Elwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? Turn around, walk away, and you keep your insides inside. All right, all right, no harm meant. Stay out of trouble, you grub mite. Ha! <laughs> that showed them! Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill. So I'm asking you, this little worker beast. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? Those were the quill's meat mops. And you sent them scurrying off with their tails between their legs. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the Quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give her what you took. Maybe she can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. I should watch out for a mouse trap. I like the pretty things. But Magister Battis' stealing is wrong. Everyone died and left me alone on the streets. I'm going to marry King Alfred. And he's going to whisk me away from all this toil. I didn't get nothing today. There's never enough food. I'm always starving.
Dimwit Dane didn't guess the quills are she. Now, now, Elwyn. Few have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! And mother will give you a treat. Coward! Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until he is seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart. <laughs> I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you can't. You have corrupted too many to save too few. My order is the only way forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence.
just prevail. <laughs> Could you, you?
great.
Hold on. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 